Ladies and gentlemen, Zach of Ghost Killer Entertainment in the building! Give me a hell yeah! What up? What's up, man? I don't know much, not much. Just having a chill night, you know? Hell yeah. Uh, for those that may not know you, Zach, can you please properly introduce yourself, uh, let us know whereabouts in the world you are right now, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Yeah, so I'm Zach. I'm the founder of Ghost Killer Entertainment, and I am from Minnesota. So being from Minnesota, you got to be a Vikings fan. I am not actually a big sports fan, actually. Oh, my. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. Uh, dude, so before we dive into all the GKE stuff, uh, you're you're a musician yourself, correct? Yeah, I do uh, vocals. I do singing and screaming. What, uh, what's what's your band that you're in so we can we can plug and promote that as well? Um, The project I have is called Salius. Salius. Okay. I'm going to look that up as well. But what, what made you want to start... Uh, Ghost Killer Entertainment and how did it all come about? Oh God, like it actually was kind of a, a spur of the moment. Um, just kind of something that was doing on and off. I never really took it seriously. Is this the right and thing, then... by the way, on the screen? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the right one. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Uh, so continue, you, you kind of just did it and then didn't really pay attention to it? Well, it was more like I wanted to promote new and upcoming bands, and that was always something that I always loved doing. Like even on, I had like multiple YouTube channels where I'd just be putting up random bands that were new and upcoming that I find like leaked websites, like people that weren't they weren't knowing these bands. And I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna get these guys to like a platform to go like promote them. And then that I started Ghost Killer then back in 2014 and. Eight years later now, here we are. <laughs> so now it's like pretty much probably consumes all your time, I would imagine. Yeah, actually, I just took it full time two years ago, actually. So that's been really nice. Hell yeah, congratulations. How, how long have you been uh, just messing around with your voice as far as being a vocalist? 14 years, actually. So all the way back to like high school days. Oh, yeah, yeah, back in high school. Like I was always into writing lyrics i was always writing all the time so i was like why not try something with this and i mainly started doing screaming at first and then i ventured into singing and then i now i do both and i love the hell out of it hell yeah does does Sal salius have any uh, upcoming shows that you can promote or discuss not at the m moment it's mainly just kind of like an online me project but i am recording two new singles right now at the moment who are you, who are you uh going with for for production um, I'm actually going with my buddy Austin Brady. He actually was a part of the band Out Came the Wolves. Okay. If you ever heard of that band from ever ago. Hell yeah. Very cool. Well, let's jam let's jam some tunes here. Get back into the questions shortly. Uh, what would you recommend we start with? Uh, if you're going for more of uh, the diversity, I would go with Breathe In, Breathe Out. Hell yeah, let's let's check it out. Hopefully you guys that are watching enjoy it. Please support him. Hit that follow button. Is that you singing also? Yep. Dude, this is badass. This is tight. You, my dude. So, so in high school, we're talking high school bands. What what are you practicing in the car to, to get used oh, to screaming? I was full on practicing my screams to like Alice Santa, Skyline Drive, Silverstein. Even Aiden back then, if you remember them. Dude, all, all four of them were, are awesome. I, I've seen all four of them live, probably in the same Warped Tour, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. My actually my first show I ever went to had almost all those bands. Well, actually, it did have all those bands. It had Skylight Drive, Alice Anna. Was this the Jag Blake. era uh, or Jordan Blake era? It was uh, right when Jag joined, actually. Like, it was their first time having Jag. And then... It was when Escape the Fate first had Craig Mavitt, but I didn't know that. <laughs> Dang, that was only like, and, a, that was a small time, small. Well, no, I mean, at first, because at one time he was almost in Skylight Drive, if, yeah, I, yeah, if I remember. That's right. Even Johnny Craig was almost in Skylight Drive, too. Back that then. is wild. That is crazy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, I know you're a big gamer, too. What, do you, what, what are you gaming on right now? And uh, just top three favorite games ever made. Oh, God, that's 
hard. I I've been playing on my PS5 a lot, playing Destiny 2. That's like my main go-to game. But my other two favorites are Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon. Some good ones. Good ones oh, for yeah. sure. Kingdom yeah, Hearts, wrong. especially. Uh, oh, fantastic God, yeah. game. Uh, I do want to do some trivia with you before we play a second song. Uh, but oh, yeah. you, you get to pick the trivia. Um, what is your what movie or TV show have you seen more than any other? Doesn't have to be your favorite. Just you've seen this movie. Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. Tim Burton. Oh, let's yeah. go. That yeah. we should just play. This is Halloween. Then it just seems fitting to go right into that. Oh one. yeah. Actually, fun fact: one of my buddies uh, actually hopped on the vocals with me do, at the end, doing like screams with me during the last breakdown. Of uh, this, of uh, this song right here. Yeah. It w- like we just went all out screaming. I did like this my mani- maniacal Joker laugh, just going nuts with the song. Let's see, let's see what you got right here, and I'll make sure to play the last part. All right, sir, prepare to be stumped. I think, I hope. All right. Nightmare right, Before see. Christmas. What, you got? what job does Jack give to Lock, Shock, and Barrel? Are you, are you seriously, you asked me that one. I gotta see. I, you'd be surprised. I gotta start off with I, what I think is an easy one, but even sometimes I stump people on the easy ones. Obviously, the second one's gonna be wicked hard, but yeah, this is a fairly easy one. It's them um, going to get Santa Claus. Of course it is. Yeah, hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> but I'm telling you, on the regular, I stump people all the time on the first one, and they get to pick the movie or TV show. And it's landed on Take a Shot, so I have to do a shot of whiskey while continuing the show. You Ghost Killer Entertainment obtaining talent to put on the roster. What do you guys look for? Honestly, I look really for the talent and the drive from musicians. That's the main thing. Because there's always a lot of bands that, like, you see their work, but they're not putting the full effort that you know that they could do. Like, the two newer bands I literally just signed, even all the bands on the label, honestly, put in so much work, and I always do my best to try to help them, market them, and push them in any way I can. Do you specifically find them? Are they messaging you, or do you have, like, uh, like Some an, an them A&R? Some have been... I've known them for a while. Like, example, We Were Giants. I, I was promoting them back in 2016, and they were one of the first few bands I signed to the label when I started it back in 2020. Hell yeah, very cool. Uh, is there, is there? You said earlier you had you had two new singles in the works for the band. Um, yeah. For, can when can yeah. when can we roughly expect the first one to come out? I'm actually about to record later this month with my producer, so waiting on getting that done. And then debate about if I do a music video for one of the songs or if I just go lyric video or just have some fun with them, you know? What's your least favorite genre to listen to? You'll still listen to it because you're at a party, you're at a friend's house, but you just can't stand this. I can't stand country, even though, funny enough, I just put out a co- a compilation of bands doing country covers. <laughs> was it Was it a nightmare to listen to? It wasn't that bad. <laughs> a lot of the bands actually picked some good banners, even though, <laughs> oh, God. The the thing that made me laugh the most is one of the bands did a cover of Hurt from Johnny Cash. But in, okay, yeah. But everybody and their mother was like, um, that's a Nine Inch Nails song. So it's a cover of a cover because Johnny Cash covered Nine Inch Nails, Hurt. And this band covered Johnny Cash's Hurt, so it was basically like a cover of a cover it's of a cover. It's an inception going on right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. And pe- and when I was posting it all the time, and people were like, every time the comments were, that's a Nine Inch Nails. That's not a Johnny Cash song. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. This one. Like people did not want to let me live it down. Your second trivia could be... Oh, we linked the uh, Country Goes Hardcore compilation in the chat right now um, for anyone to check it out. What were you going to say? I'm actually, oh, I was about to say, I'm excited for the next comp that we have. We have a, we're have we doing a Pop Goes Hardcore Volume 2 comp, 
and got like half the like literally all the bands on the label are going to be on there plus like seven other bands from new and up, like lot, seven bands from the upcoming scene very cool this one i feel like is a little bit harder but you seem like a man that knows his stuff so i'm not sure if i'm going to stump you but here we go in the nightmare before christmas what is the name of the doctor who made sally I'm like, oh, I might blank. Finkelstein? Finkelstein is correct! Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I knew. Yeah. We were not able to stump you, sir. Well done. Well done. Oh my goodness. It's gonna land on it again. Except this time I gotta put. Oh, I thought I was going to put a hot sauce, land on the hot sauce one. It was that close. Oof. What do you got going on the rest of the day, dude? Um, I'm going to be playing some Destiny with some friends of mine, and then just chilling with my doggo. What kind of dog is it? I have a Husky Black Lab mix. Very cool. I can actually show you real quick. Hey, Rick. Say hi. When you... Oh, what's up, doggy? What's up, bud? Hell yeah. He's a very happy boy. Is there is there a chance uh, GKE could ever sign someone that's not in the scene style of music that's a different form of, of music, but you still kind of want to venture out? Honestly, I wouldn't mind promoting emo rap. Okay. Honestly. It seems like, to go would... hand in hand with, with metal and rock music for some reason. Oh, yeah. Like, I wasn't always the biggest fan of it, but... Uh, one of my friends really got me more into it and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm actually digging this. Like I got into little Otis and uh, a few other people and I was like, okay, yeah, I, i definitely want to check this genre out more. If you had infinite money, so you can, you can go on vacation you can spend millions and it doesn't even come close to dending the bank at all. Where's your dream vacation and what car are you buying while you're there? Honestly, I there's actually a few places. Okay, it's tied between going to Ireland or Japan. Two great answers. T but top five on my list, I both of them. I don't know, honestly, <laughs> to be honest. Are you a big car guy or not really? I'm not a big car guy. I I'm am. I'm more of a big so ass nerd <laughs> when it comes to video games. For sure. So maybe like a like an Escalade that has like a bunch of TVs and video game systems inside. So so you have a driver and you can still game in the back seat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Very cool. Uh, were you in any other other bands besides this one that you can name drop? Uh, there was one other one, but I'm not. Uh, no, I'm embarrassed by that one. <laughs> what what kind of genre was it? It was, uh, okay, so it was kind of a confusing because we had, basically it was mi all of us trying to put our genres together, but it was, I kind of consider it more post-hardcore, but we had Gent, we had pop punk, we had old school punk, and then my post-hardcore, like screaming and singing influence, but it was kind of all over the place where we tried to mash it all together. And we had a five track EP that I was excited to record, but we never ended up recording it. And the only song we ever recorded was a Owl City uh, Good Time cover. Okay. I remember Owl City for oh, sure. God. Yeah, they're actually, fun fact I'm a town away from where uh, Adam from that, from Owl City is from. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, what What is a, a business adventure? <laughs> We just got we just got <laughs> slapped for five hundred bits. Uh, what is a thank you? What is a business adventure that uh, you would you see yourself getting into? It's just not time yet. Honestly, I'm not one hundred percent sure because honestly, this record label that I'm running was one of the dream jobs I wanted to do when I was in high school. Like, if I wasn't able to do something like with my band specifically, I wanted to help out other bands reach that dream. So just promoting and helping that's because that's kind of what i do is just is just promote yeah. bands that i think people need to know about yeah it's yeah honestly that's been one of my favorite things because like i said like how i started was i'd be going onto these like websites that would link these bands albums all the time 
and I'd be checking out these guys' music, like, I'd be like, how is nobody listening to these guys? It'd be like people that have like maybe like a few hundred fans at most or barely any. And I, I'm still friends with a lot of those guys still to this day, like that I've been promoting since then. Like, I had a new fame on fire, like when they were first starting out, and I worked with them in the beginning, and that was a lot of fun. Fame on fire. They have agreed to be on the show, and then they asked us to just go through their management, who literally never responded. Crickets for days. Uh, yeah, it happens. I, I never heard back from them, too, because I was supposed to do a band interview, too, but I still love the guys. I'm actually. They're actually going to be here in uh, October 9th. I'm going to go see them. I'm excited to see them. Hell yeah. Finally. That's awesome. Uh, we only have time for one more question, but it is, a, it is a real serious question. I ask every single guest on the show this this very right. same thing. Uh, what is a piece of musical advice that maybe somebody in the industry has told you that was kind of like an eye-opener to take, take your career more serious or a terrible mistake you made early on that you don't want any starting up garage band to make? Do not go cheap ever on anything, whether it comes to recording, artwork, logo work, promotion, do not go cheap on it, honestly, because you definitely do get your money's worth. I've had, I've, even in projects that I've been in where I've been screwed over by people that overcharged me like or screwed me over with like logos that i never saw or production i never was told that was going to be better than it was and i it was just always kind of like what did i just pay for and just felt like i got screwed over a lot so keep keep your eyes on the prize spend the money but also no you didn't exactly say this but also don't work with family I feel like yeah, oh, that is honestly really true. Something always goes wrong, and then you're in a jam. Like, okay, actually, one little bit tidbit of like um, when I fun fact, I met the uh, Nick. For, he used to be in Attack Attack. He was the vocalist. Yeah, and he told me about how uh, he didn't tell me who, but one of the members' dads was their manager. And it was always play favoritism with attack attack because they were all like teens when they first got signed, so they they had to have a parental like figure to have as the manager of the band, and apparently they just kept like, getting screwed over left and right back then with that. He was the vocalist after Austin, correct? Yeah, he was the one who was in the Stick Sickly music video, right? For yeah. sure. Well, dude, I, I appreciate you hanging with me for a little while. You're an extremely busy guy. You did not have to do this, but it was very cool of you to hey. do it. So I, I, I extend a thank you, and uh, please don't be a stranger. You're welcome back at any time. Everybody, please go support his band, Silas, and Ghost Killer Entertainment, which you probably already know about, but please go hit the like button, the follow <laughs> button, and support them. Brother, thank you so much. Have yourself a fantastic day, and hopefully we'll catch up soon. Will do, my dude. Always down to come back again. Excellent. Zach of Ghost Killer Entertainment! Give me a hell yeah! Cheers, brother. Yeah.